Karibu sinda da bada. We love, God bless you all. Good evening, good evening. How are you doing? And this is how I want us to open our mouth as we begin to adore the name of God, adore the name of God, adore the name of God, adore the name of God. Begin to call him name, say, Father, be that exalted, be that magnified. Worship the name of God, worship the name of God. You are bigger than what people say. 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 Some say you are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Many we call you brave, be. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. 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 Jehovah, bigger than what people say. Some say you are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Let your glory be above all the let your glory be above all day. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Let your glory be above all day. 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 You are the reason why we are here, Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are here, Jehovah. You are. The most I God, Jehovah, you are the most I. You are the most I God, Lily of the Valley. You are the most I great and mighty. You are the most I God, Lily of the Valley. You are. The most high, oh Jehovah, you are the most high God. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A share of the as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never share. Father, I worship and adore you for tonight. 
because you are the king or king, the Lord of Lords, the Asher of days. Thank you for the life. Thank you for your sustenance. Thank you for your provision. Father, I say, be that exalted, be that magnified, for there is none like you. You are the beginning and the end, the Asher of days, the line of the tribe of Judah. Father, take all the glory. Father, take all the honor. As your word is about to break forth, Lord God, give us the understanding of the word. Let your word have a greater impact in our life. Let your word bring a greater impartation in our life. Open our understanding. In the name of Jesus, Father, I worship you. Be the resorted. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, I'll be talking on a message which is titled to arise again. A lot of people in life, their enemy has crippled down their business. A lot of people in life, the enemy has crippled down their marriage. A lot of people in life, the enemy has crippled down their destiny. But today, the Lord is saying you shall rise again. A lot of people has been in Europe. They have torn around the Europe, but they cannot be able to gain anything. God is saying you will rise again. It does not matter what you lost. What matters is the restoration. God is bringing restoration to your life. God is bringing restoration to your life. The Bible says in the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 22, How beat the air of his head began to grow again after being shaved. In other words, the enemy have crippled down many people, thinking they cannot rise again. The enemy has destroyed a lot of businesses, thinking they cannot rise again. But tonight, God is saying, you shall rise again. A lot of people, your prayer life is down. You cannot pray anymore. Your prayer life has been crippled. God is trying to tell you tonight that you shall rise again. You're, a lot of people, your children could not go to school. You could not afford to pay their school fees. But tonight, God is saying you will rise again. I don't know what you have been passing through for long. I don't know what you have been into for long. But all I care to come, I come to announce as the prophet of the Most High. I come to announce as the servant of the old Most High God. I decree and I declare every crippled destiny. They are coming out alive in the name of Jesus. They are coming out alive in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they shape the air of something. They never knew that the air is definitely going to grow again. They never understood that the air of something will grow. Let me tell you something. The enemy might be the enemy might be fighting your business today. The enemy might be fighting your children today. They, you might open this door whenever you pull and in this business, it does not flourish. God is telling you tonight, you shall rise again. No matter what the devil has crippled in your life, you are rising up again. No matter your business, how many years the business are fold up, today you are rising up again. It does not matter the job you were doing before. That job, they suck you. You are rising up again. Male gada brazu de li gada baba barado zia li bradua elegadunda braza dada. Your business is coming out alive. God is lifting up men. You are rising up again. Hallelujah. The Bible says the enemy closed the door against the man. The enemy closed the door. When the door closed, the enemy thinks the door will not open. That is why the Bible says in the book of Revelation, God said he has opened the door which no man can close the Bible Oh, my enemy, rejoice not over me, for if I fall, I shall rise. If I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto my path. In other words, it does not matter how long you have been in that darkness. It does not matter how long you have been in that pain. You are coming out alive. It does not matter the sickness you have been going through for years. You are rising up from that sickness. A lot of us, a lot of people, the enemy has crippled them in that sickness. Whenever you have money to invest, that is where unnecessary expenses is coming. God is saying tonight, that problem is coming to an end. Hallelujah. The Bible says, oh my enemy, don't laugh over me, for if I fall yesterday, if my 
business followed up yesterday. If they give me negative document last year, but 2021, I am rising up again. It does not matter the darkness that surrounds me, but what matter is the light that is overcoming that darkness. It does not matter how long I have been in that pain. What matter? I am coming out again. I am rising up again. It does not matter in life. Your business that have crumbled, you are coming out alive. Praise God. Lagada brazunde broka la baba shandaya. You are coming out alive. You are coming out alive. A lot of us, our businesses has closed down. A lot of us, our family is in big pain. Tears, broken home. Tonight, God is saying, I am coming out alive. Tonight, God is announcing, I am coming out alive. If God is not a man that should lie, neither is son of man that will share from his word. As God spoken it in, he has not done it. As God said right it in, he has not come to pass. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. When God say yes, no man can say no. It's the God that walk upon the sea, the consuming fire. It's the God that answered by fire, who is in the spirit, it in the coming to pass when the Lord God has not ordained. It does not matter how long you have been in that years. It does not matter how long you have been in that pain. Today you are coming out alive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A lot of us in our education, when others are even passing, we have done all within our power. We still carry, we still have that carry over. God is saying to you today that you are going to rise up again. You are overcoming that situation. A lot of us, we got married for 20 years. A lot of us got married for since 5 years, 3 years, 4 years. There is no issue. But God is telling you today that that yoke is breaking. You are coming out alive. You are coming out from that situation. You are overcoming that situation. You are overcoming that situation. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, share of this. That is why the Bible made us to understand uh, that in that believeth in the Lord shall not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, it does not matter what has crumbled. Uh, it does not matter the abandoned project you have. Uh, what matter is Jesus Christ is, bring, is lifting you up again. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. Juve, Juve Shenza Yoski, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You ain't, you ain't shed on your skin. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Aye, 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 aye. That's what the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. You are a liar, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. It does not matter how the enemy tries to sit on your destiny. It does not matter how long the enemy has been fighting you. It does not matter how long the enemy has been stopping you not to achieve that your goal. But today, God is saying uh, you are rising up above your enemy. Rejoice not over me, for if I fall, I shall rise again. Any my enemy do not laugh at me, uh, because no matter what I am going through, this is not my last, last bus stop. Uh. No matter the situation, this is not my last bus stop. Uh. It is time for my testimony. Lege brazunde brokali Brother Balanda, Rododo Shende Brundia. No matter what I'm going through, I will not die in this situation. I am coming out alive. I am coming out with a living testimony. I don't know. In your marriage, every every battle surrounding your marriage. Today they are coming to an end. Today they are coming to an end. Jesus is giving you a bright testimony. Jesus is giving you a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. Oh, glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
A lot of us, we borrowed a lot of money to start our business, expecting to have increase. But to our own greatest surprise, we were surprised that everything turned upside down. Even the more we invest money to the business, the more the business begins to sink. God is telling you today that you are coming out alive. It does not matter. Let me tell you something. Your family might be going through hunger. Your family might be going through some certain battles. Today, you are coming out alive. I don't know whether you have lost a job for many years. I don't know whether the just send you out from school. I don't know whether they have sent you out from that your business, but all I know you are rising up again. You are rising up again. You that brother, you that sister, that depend on people to feed. You don't even know who to help you. You are coming out alive. Hallelujah. The Bible made us to understand that there was a man that was sitting in a beautiful gate, a gate called Beautiful. And the man was born blind. In, in life, a lot of people will be putting on a good clothes. A lot of people might be putting on the best perfume. But in their life, their life is so ugly. Their destiny is so ugly. Their life, there are a lot of injury. There are a lot of pain. They use a beautiful clothes to cover. If they don't remove that clothes, you will not know. When they don't relate it to you, you will not know. If you are the one, tonight God is setting you free. Tonight God is losing you. Tonight, God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. A lot of us, we went through battles of life. In the time of help, no man is willing to help us. In the time of need, no one is able to be there. But tonight, I am here to tell you that Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, the Aguni Shemba, the beginning and the end, is rising up for your sake to help you. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Malega Zada Brandua. Legadun de Bruzin de Brokali Brazanda da Raduza. God is rising up, man, lifting you up from that poverty. God is lifting you up from that sickness. God is lifting you up from that pain. God is lifting you up from that sorrow. God is bringing you out to testimony. You shall rise again. Oh, my enemy, rejoice not over me. If I fall, I shall rise. If I sit in darkness, I will, the Lord will be a light to my path. It does not matter the situation that confronts me now. It does not matter the problem I am going through now. It does not matter the laugh and mockery I am going through now. All I know, after tonight, I am coming out alive. I am coming out victorious. I am coming out with testimony. I am coming out with an excellent miracle. Today, tonight, God is giving somebody testimony. Tonight, God is giving somebody a miracle. Tonight, God is giving somebody favor. Tonight, God is giving favor somebody promotion. Tonight, God is restoring somebody back to that job. Tonight, God is restoring somebody back to that business. Tonight, God is restoring somebody back to that miracle. Malega zende brozinda brakada balida. The enemy do not know. They told they thought they have taken away your joy, but they never know your joy do not lie in your business. They never know your joy do not lie in your marriage. They never know your joy do not lie in the hands of your children. They never know the source of your joy was God. They never knew the source of your joy was happiness. They thought they have succeeded in putting you in pain. They thought they have succeeded in putting you in zero. But they never know the Redeemer live it. They have come to rescue you. God is setting somebody free from that pain. God is setting somebody free from that sorrow. God is setting somebody free from that tears. I don't know who you are, but I am here to announce to seven people tonight. Tonight, God is breaking that yoke of barrenness. Tonight, God is breaking that yoke of limitation. Tonight, God is breaking that yoke of joblessness. God is liberating somebody. God is liberating somebody. Your time has come. God is liberating you. Tonight, God is liberating you. Hallelujah. Liga Zinde Bruzia Libra da Barababa Sanda Rosende Broco de Orinda Lega de Rododo Rababa Sande Broco Zinderia. I don't know who you are. God said, I should announce to you that battle in your marriage is coming to an end. That darkness in your marriage is disappearing. I speak into the life of many that is under the voice, sound of my voice. Before the end of January, God is 
God is promoting you. God is promoting you. I speak life into your marriage. I speak life into your document. I don't know who has disappointed you for long. Tonight, God is using them to elevate your their life. God is using them to lift you up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. A life, a lot of us has come into come to a place whereby many people do not even want to associate with us. A life, a lot of us has come to that point in our life where many people do not want to be our friend. No, many people, many people do not want to help us. Where many people begin to run away from us. Let me tell you, this is the procedure to climb to your miracle. This is a procedure to climb to your testimony. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Uh, first Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Uh, glory to God who has called us into your standard glory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and the Bible continues to say uh, that after, after ye have suffered the war, God will strengthen you. God will establish you. God will perfect you. God will strengthen you. And God will establish you. It does not matter what you have lost in life. Uh, God is establishing somebody. After you have gone through all this pain, uh, tonight is the end of your pain. For weeping may dwell for a night, but dwell coming to the money. Even when you fall, those that mock you are coming back to testify. A lot of us, your new testimony is come and see. Uh, God has done it again. Come and see. Uh, I release testimony. I release your testimony. Powers of darkness that disagree with the plan of God for your life this year. I enter into the realm of the spirit. I disagree with them. In the name of Jesus, I see God giving somebody promotion. I see God giving somebody favor. Miracle on our side. Testimony on our side. Father, I worship you. Be that result and be that magnified. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for tonight's program. I decree and I declare upon the life of many that is under the sound of my voice. Uh, everywhere the enemy has crippled them financially. Anywhere the enemy has crippled them uh, in their business, in their job, in any area of their life, in their marriage. Tonight I decree they are becoming free. Oh Lord, set them free. Lord God, set them free. Anyone with any sickness, stomach pain, everyone with any sickness, any disease in their body, I decree and I declare that sickness is out of your life. You are rising up from that failure to favor. You are rising up from ashes to beauty. God is decorating your life with favor. Those that mock you will come to testify the goodness of God in your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is settled. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear beloved, don't forget, same time on Wednesday. We are still going to be meeting here by Wednesday. If Jesus tarry in his coming by 9 p.m. See you all. God bless you. Shalom.